Greetings, everyone. After much travail, we are here at the overview of the issue number three of Nameless Digest. Finally out! Nameless, there you see the contributors. And to paraphrase what I said about uh, what I heard one time, I read an interview, rather, about, by Gore Vidal, when asked why he missed a deadline by five years, he says, well, if you're going to miss a deadline, I figure you may as well really miss it. Well, we're not near that bad. But we've been delayed several months, and number four, issue number four, this is number three, shall be out uh, post haste after this one. This is available as an ebook right now, and I've got the physical copy in my little hands, and it's about to go out to contributors and subscribers, and it's available on Amazon and at our website, jsunny.com. Go to our store. But this issue is excellent, as always. This is, I feel, the best weird digest in the field nameless and uh, I want to go over just a little bit of it as usual over 200 pages full color full color and uh, so without further ado I want you to make sure also you are supporting the people that help us with this fine thing and that would be the fine folks at Hippocampus Press and Blue Water and uh, also uh, Roy Robbins at Bad Book, Bad Moon Books so he's right there on the back and they help us out by carrying in things and selling things for us. And in this issue, here's the TOC. Uh, it's Liz approved. You can see she likes it. Um, we have a nice uh, editorial that I did about the state of the art going on. And what do you think, Liz? She really <laughs> wants to get a good look at this thing. So uh, there you go. Here, she reads a lot. And uh, in case you don't know. So... We have also a tribute, a lovely tribute, to uh, William F. Nolan, and by William F. Nolan to uh, his good friend and my good friend and Sonny's, uh, Richard Matheson, uh, who passed away, unfortunately. Then we have a great article by Sam Gafford about the man who saved Hodgson. Um, then I did a great interview, I think, with uh, a really fine artist named uh, Brian K. Ward. He does, like, fantastic realism and that kind of thing. Um, so check that out. And then we have Aaron J. French's column. Um, and then uh, I humbly submit that I found a, a, a new individual for writing. Uh, really interesting nonfiction. His name is Hank Shore. And I like his work a lot. It's offbeat and actually a little lighter than some of the fare, but that's okay. We need some to break up some stuff. Some And a really interesting John Rolin article by Shade um, where he talks about Rolin's vampire series and everything. I guess Liz has checked out on us here. Then uh, as far as uh, we have, of course, our reviews, you know, by Don Webb and the Someone you may have heard of, Sonny K. Brock, uh, also Stephanie Watovich, and a uh, host of other Michael J. Clark. And uh, we, of course, we cover comics, fiction, nonfiction, movies, you know, that kind of thing, even music. So, nonfiction, you know, I mean, no, Nameless tries to be all things. So, as far as esoterica, macabre, and science fiction, horror, that kind of thing. And to, as long as there's intelligence involved, we're, we're interested. And uh, as far as the other things that are in this issue, I say, um, flip through here you can catch it um, we got uh, all kinds of articles we got artwork we've got that's a really cool story by Mike Allen called monster we got uh, we got a nice nice story by Nicole Cushing called the mirrors and another one there's Hank Shores uh, piece one of them he's got three in here there's oh yes the assaults of chaos make sure you get that this ST's book from hippocampus and then uh, we have, there's the Relin piece by Shade, and we also have some really cool cartoons by a, a fellow who's been in the New Yorker. His name's Mark Bilgray. He's a friend of mine and Bill's, uh, Bill Nolan's. And Nicole J. LaBeouf had a great piece in here called Lambing Season. And uh, a piece I'm very fond of, three of them actually. One is called The Witch Hunter's Account by Theresa Arkenberg, and another one is called Abysmora by... Erica Sneeb, I think somebody you should really watch out for. She's a very good writer. And uh, also, um, as I said, selection of poetry and things like that. But um, the, oh yes, Ask the Soldier Who Called Me by Yanko Chilokov. And that's translated by Kaylin M. Ninoff. And I hope I'm saying this right. But trying to continue the exploration of world literature and that kind of thing in Nameless. And we also have The Classroom by David Akronoff and uh, part of me, they couldn't kill one on the organized by uh, Ever Morris. And as usual, just I, an embarrassing uh, embarrassment of rich is uh, when it comes to nonfiction and everything else. So I can see Liz is 
anxious to get to her copy of it. And uh, so go check it out. Go check it out. Nameless Digest number three.